Is the health service, from your perspective, adequately funded for 2024? I've been very clear on the public record, and I'm not going to change the position I articulated last Sunday week. The health service has a lot of money, but the cost of running the health service today, at this point in 2023, going into 2024, is going to see a deficit position resulting. OK, so the answer is no, it's not adequately funded for, for 2024. So if we then come to ELS, existing levels of services simply to stand still, to provide for demographic pressures, inflation, mm. pay, all of those issues. So what was the figure that the department had sought from the HSE for ELS for 2024, as opposed to the 708 million that you got? Well, we, 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 saw, we saw it, uh, circa 2 billion was the number. Uh, and you got 700. We, we were looking. But then there's also as the, there's the once off fund. Yeah, once off doesn't so. cut it. I'm talking about permanent funding. You saw 2 billion and you sure. got 700 million. Sure. Is but that the, correct? The, I just, the, I'm just, just yeah, yeah, no, they're, they're, okay. they're, they're the number. So it's a shortfall of 1.3 billion. That's in the base, core expenditure. Yeah, exactly. Excluding once offs, exactly. There's a shortfall yeah, yeah, yeah. of 1.3 yeah. billion. That's fine, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that means then, Mr. Gloucester, that you have to write a service plan for next year. Which, which guarantees a deficit for 2024. Would that be fair? Yeah, I, I, I've said on the public record, based on the cost base that I have today, if I'm to do the services which I have said I'm not uh, cutting or going to hurt people, uh, there is a guaranteed deficit. Yeah, there's a guarantee. And, is I'm, that and I'm not aspiring to the highest level. I'll work to the lowest level with efficiencies, but okay. there is a deficit, yes. OK. And is that unusual that you would be writing a service plan, building in and guaranteeing a deficit? It would. It would be unusual. OK, well, I would say highly unusual and unprecedented. I just want to again deal with the consequences because we're hearing about this won't impact patients on, on the front line, and I, I would disagree with that because there also hasn't been any additional funding for, for new services and for all of the clinical programmes and national strategies. And you mentioned that in your opening statement, there is no new funding. So I'm concerned about cancer, cardiac care. I'll take one example the stroke strategy. How much additional funding has been given for the national stroke strategy? The likely answer is zero for, for 2024 in terms of additional core expenditure. Would that be correct? It, that's true, Deputy. Our, our national programmes at this point in time don't have additional okay. funding for 2024. And, and I would imagine that's the same across a lot of programmes. So budget 2024 will have an impact, in my view, on the delivery of services and improving all of those clinical programmes and national strategies.